Alpine folklore, the night of December 5th is the night St. Nicholas and Krampus visit the children. But will they receive a gift or will they be punished by Krampus? Welcome back to Greybeard's Jewels. Step into the unknown. Today's episode is about Krampus, the Punisher of Christmas. Krampus is a horned, human-like figure in Alpine folklore who, during the Christmas season, scares children who have misbehaved. Assisting St. Nicholas, the first of three good December figures, the other two being Santa Claus and Dead Moraz, the pair visit children on the night of the 5th of December with St. Nicholas rewarding the well-behaved children with modest gifts, such as oranges, dried fruit, walnuts, and chocolate, whilst the badly behaved ones only receive punishment from Krampus with birch rods. The origin of the figure is unclear. Some folklorists and anthropologists have postulated it as having pre-Christian origins. In traditional parades and in such events as the Krampuslauf or Krampus Run, young men participate dressed as Krampus and attempt to scare the audience with their antics. Such events occur annually in most alpine towns. Krampus is featured on holiday greeting cards called Krampus Garten. Since 2013, the character has become better known globally, having been portrayed in Hollywood horror films almost unknown before this time. Krampus has begun to become a part of American popular culture. The history of the Krampus figure has been theorized as stretching back to pre-Christian Alpine traditions. Discussing his observations in 1975, while in Erdning, a small town in Satyria, anthropologist John J. Honegaman wrote that the St. Nicholas Festival we are describing incorporates cultural elements widely distributed in Europe, in some cases going back to pre-Christian times. Nicholas himself became popular in Germany around the 11th century. The feast dedicated to this patron of children is only one winter occasion in which children are the subject of special attention, others being Martinmas, the Feast of Holy Innocence, and New Year's Day. Mass devils acting boisterously and making nuisances of themselves are known in Germany since at least the 6th century. While animal mass devils combining dreadful comic antics appeared in medieval church plays, a large literature, much of it by European folklore, bears on these subjects. Austrians in the community we studied are quite aware of heathen elements being blended with Christian elements in the St. Nicholas customs and in other traditional winter ceremonies. They believe Krampus derives from a pagan supernatural who was assimilated to the Christian devil. The Krampus figures persisted and by the 17th century Krampus had been incorporated into Christian winter celebrations by pairing Krampus with St. Nicole. In the aftermath of the 1932 elections in Austria, the Krampus tradition was prohibited by the Dolphus regime under the clerical fascist Fatherland Front and the Christian Social Party. In the 1950s, the government distributed pamphlets titled, Krampus is an Evil Man. Toward the end of the century, a popular resurgence of Krampus celebrations occurred and continues today. The Krampus tradition is being revived in Bavaria as well, along with the local artistic tradition of hand-carved wooden masks. In 2019, there were reports of drunken or disorderly conduct by mass Krampuses in some Austrian towns. Although Krampus appears in many variations, most share some common physical characteristics. He is hairy, usually brown or black, and has the cloven hoofs and horns of a goat. His long, pointed tongue lolls out, and he has fangs. Krampus carries chains, thought to symbolize the binding of the devil by the Christian church. He thrashes the chains for dramatic effect. The chains are sometimes accompanied with bells of various sizes. Of more pagan origins are the root and bundles of birch branches that Krampus carries and with which he occasionally swats children. The rootin may have had significance in pre-Christian pagan initiation rites. 
The birch branches are replaced with a whip in some representations. Sometimes Krampus appears with a sack or basket strapped to his back. This is to cart off evil children for drowning, eating, or transport to hell. Some of the older versions make mention of naughty children being put in a bag and taken away. This quality can be found in other companions of St. Nicholas, such as Warty Piet. The Feast of St. Nicholas is celebrated in parts of Europe on December 6th. On the preceding evening of December 5th, Krampus Night, the wicked hairy devil appears on the street. On the preceding evening of the 5th of December, Krampus Night, the wicked hairy devil appears on the streets, sometimes accompanying St. Nicholas and sometimes on his own. Krampus visits homes and businesses. The saint usually appears in the eastern rite vestments of a bishop, and he carries a golden ceremonial staff. Unlike North American versions of Santa Claus, in these celebrations St. Nicholas concerns himself only with the good children, while Krampus is responsible for the bad. Nicholas dispenses gifts, while Krampus supplies coal and the rootin' bundles. A seasonal play that spread throughout the Alpine regions was known as the Nicholas Play, inspired by Paradise Plays, which focused on Adam and Eve's encounter with a tempter. The Nicholas Plays featured competition for the human souls, and played on the question of morality. In these Nicholas Plays, St. Nicholas would reward children for scholarly efforts rather than for good behavior. This is the theme that grew in the Alpine regions, where the Roman Catholic Church had significant influence. There were already established pagan traditions in the Alpine regions that became intertwined with Catholicism. People would masquerade as a devilish figure known as a perched, two-legged humanoid goat with a giraffe-like neck, wearing animal furs. People wore costumes and marched in processions known as Perchtenlaufen which are regarded as early forms of the Krampus runs. Perstenlaufen were looked at with suspicion by the Catholic Church and banned by some civil authorities. Due to sparse population and rugged environments within the Alpine region, the ban was not effective or easily enforced, rendering the ban useless. Eventually the Perstenlauf, inspired by the Nicholas plays, introduced St. Nicholas and his set of good morals. The perch transformed into what is now known as the Krampus and was made to be subjected to St. Nicholas's will. It is customary to offer Krampus schnapps, a strong distilled fruit brandy. These runs may include perchton, similarly wild pagan spirits of Germanic folklore and sometimes female in representation. Although the perchton are properly associated with the period between winter solstice and the 6th of January. Europeans have been exchanging greeting cards featuring Krampus since the 19th century. Sometimes introduced with grub from Krampus, greetings from Krampus. The cards usually have humorous rhymes and poems. Krampus is often featured looming menacingly over children. He is also shown as having one human foot and one cloven hoof. In some, Krampus has sexual overtones. He is pictured pursuing buxom women. He is also shown to have one human foot and one cloven hoof. Over time, the representation of Krampus in the cards has changed. Older versions have a more frightening Krampus, while modern versions have a cuter, more Cupid-like creature. Krampus has also adorned postcards and candy containers. In Styria, the written bundles are presented by Krampus to families. The twigs are painted gold and displayed year-round in the house. A reminder to any child who has temporarily forgotten Krampus. In smaller, more isolated villages, the figure has other beastly companions, such as the antlered wild man figures, and St. Nicholas is nowhere to be seen. These Styrian companions of Krampus are called Raham. A toned down version of Krampus is part of the popular Christmas markets in Austrian urban centers, like Salzburg. In these more tourist friendly interpretations, Krampus is more humorous than fearsome. North American Krampus celebrations are a growing phenomenon. Similar figures are recorded in neighboring areas, Klaubauf, Austria, while Bar, while Bartel, or Bartel, 
Knives Low Bard and Wool Bart are used in most parts of Slovenia, whose culture was greatly affected by Austrian culture. Krampus is called Parko and is one of the companions of Miklovs, the Slovenian form of St. Nicholas. In many parts of Croatia, Krampus is described as a double wearing a cloth sack around his waist and chains around his neck, ankles, and wrists. As a part of a tradition, when a child receives a gift from St. Nicholas, he is given a golden branch to represent his good deeds throughout the year. However, if the child has misbehaved, Krampus will take the gifts for himself and leave only a silver branch to represent the child's bad acts. The character of Krampus has been imported and modified for various North American media, including print, Krampus, the Devil of Christmas, a collection of vintage postcards by Monty Beachcamp in 2004, Krampus the Yule Lord, a 2012 novel by Gerald Brom, television, both live action, a Krampus Carol, a 2012 episode of The League, an animation, A Very Venture Christmas, a 2004 episode of The Venture Brothers, Minstrel Krampus, a 2013 episode of American Dad, video games, Carnival, a 1998 arcade game, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, a 2014 video game, and film, Krampus, a 2015 Christmas comedy horror movie from Universal Pictures. I don't know. I think um, I'd rather go with Santa Claus. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Greybeard's Jewels. Step into the unknown. <laughs>